This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, and my name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're talking all this week about why we should be vocal and out loud about our faith. And yesterday we began that conversation by talking about being clear about what the church means to us, how we are transformed by our participation in this community. That's where this conversation begins. But we continue by asking, why, would, why do we want to share the community with others? Why proclaim that this is a community that means something in our lives to people who have never attended the Unitarian Church of Lincoln? And there's a few ways to answer this question. The first is this, if our faith is meaningful to us, if it has been transformative in our life, then most of us want others to have the same kind of experience that we have had. I want my friends and loved ones to find meaning in their lives. And being part of a Unitarian Universalist congregation has given my life a lot of meaning. I want to share that with them because I want the people that I love to be able to find what I have found in Unitarian Universalism. Now, this does not mean that I assume that for everybody that I know, what works for me will work for them. We know that everyone has different journeys. Each is responsible for their own search for truth and meaning. That's central to who we are as Unitarian Universalists. But take this conversation out of religion for, for a moment. If you have a friend that is hungry and who's just trying to decide where to go to dinner, they want to go out somewhere in Lincoln, um, but they don't know what restaurant. I guess this is a, a pre-pandemic um, metaphor. And they ask you if you know any good restaurants in town. And you could say, man, I love the oven down in the Haymarket. And your friend might not actually like Indian food and might go somewhere else instead. But should the possibility that they don't like Indian food prevent you from saying, I hear that you're hungry and here's a place where I've had a great meal. People are hungry in their souls and congregations, our congregation, feed souls. I really believe that as blunt as a metaphor as that is. Now, granted, I would be in a terrible business if I didn't believe that, but that doesn't mean that I'm wrong. We should be able to see a friend, a family member, who's trying to make meaning in the world, trying to find some purpose in the world, and say to them, here is a place that feeds my soul. Let me tell you about what my experience has been there. And maybe they visit and maybe they don't. But I promise you, if you don't say anything, they won't. There's another way to look at this beyond the individual, and it's this. I truly believe that it is a good thing for the world to have more Unitarian Universalists in it. Our tradition has its flaws, absolutely, and we talk about those. But it's also a way of looking at the world that takes living a good life seriously, that asks us to interrogate our own actions and motivations, to be conscious of the dignity and worth of others, and to recognize our interconnections, and to act on all of that in the world. A better world is possible, and it will be built by human hands. I want more people in the world to do that, to be that. There are about 150,000 Unitarian Universalists in the entire country. I think there can be more. There are 300 members of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln right here in Lancaster County. I am pretty sure that there are more of us out there. And I know that these conversations about sharing faith are really hard to have. And indeed, a lot of Unitarian Universalists are really anxious about them because proselytizing has a really bad name in our association for good reason. So tomorrow, we're going to talk about some of that difficulty 
and how we might move through it. I apologize, I'm getting a phone call right now. So I'm gonna end this and see you tomorrow.